So, you know, this past week, as I do this on this Christmas Eve, and I hope you all have a safe and Christmas Eve with your family and friends as you travel and everything, which hopefully by now you've already done that, but if not, be careful out there, guys. But I wanted to come on here and basically talk about something that both James Rolfe and Doug Walker and their internet personas of Angry Video Game Nerd and, you know, Nostalgia Critic kind of brought up. Mostly Doug Walker, but I bring up AVGN because of the fact that he, you know, did some Garfield-related uh, material for an episode recently this past week where he talked about various Garfield games that we got and didn't get, you know, or would have gotten here in the U.S. But as far as Doug Walker as the Nostalgia Critic, he finally did a review on A Garfield Christmas. Now, yes, he did talk about this and mention it in one, if not both, of his top 12 Christmas specials, whether it was the first one or the follow-up. But there was one thing he brought up in this, you know, in this video. And I don't think he's the only one that brought it up. And that is the fact that it seems that, you know, a little after John gets back to the farm, you know, for, for Christmas, he and Doc Boy, for some odd reason, for some odd reason, after... You know, they go out and do the chores, depending on which version you enjoy the most. Is it the animated version or the comic version, comic book version, I should say, or whatever. It seemed for some odd reason that a little after that, like the closer it got into the later evenings and everything, into the later por portion of the evening of Christmas Eve, it seemed that they started to, well, de age. Yeah. They started to technically de-age, kind of regress, if you will, back to being kids. And a lot of people were probably wondering, like, why? You know, why would a grown adult like John Ar Arbuckle, who is a cartoonist, Doc Boy, who, as we see in later seasons, is basically the, you know, you know heir apparent to the farm throne, if you will, why do they start to regress? Why do they start acting like they're five, six, eight years old again? And that's a good question. That's a good question. Why would somebody that, you know, is trying to win the heart and eventually does of his childhood friend, the veterinarian Liz Wilson, uh, why does he regress back to a child? Why does he act this way, you know? And I think it all has to do with the mom. Because we know the mom, she's, you know, she's kind-hearted, she's a sweetheart and everything. She always, you know, kind of overdoes things to an extent. Like when, they, you know, when they're at the dinner table and everything, you know, John basically comments that she makes too much food. And then when he suggests he wants, he want, when he kind of says he wants to have a piece of pie, you see the various amounts of pie she has. And you're wondering, dang, it's only like what? The dad, the mom, John, Doc Boy, and the grandma, and to an extension, Garfield and Odie, you know, and maybe later on, Liz. You know, why so much? Why so much? And again, I think it has to do with the fact that the mom still kind of, you, know, you know, mentally keeps herself in that domain of, you know, as things used to be. You know, as things used to be, to where she would be doing this kind of stuff for the family no matter what. Like, in other words, she kind of is very hesitant to change her ways. Now, some would say, well, maybe this is where John and Doc Boy, by extension, get their, you know, dim-wittedness, if you will, their, you know, their not-so-bright uh, nature. And that might be true. That might be true to an extent that this is where they get it from. I'm not saying they don't. But if that's the case, it would explain why the grandma you know, basically mentioned behind the mom's back that her gravy won a blue ribbon at the county fair and the mom's didn't even place. Because the, the grandma was going to basically spice up, you know, and eventually does after the mom leaves, eventually, you know, she was going to spice up up the, you know, the gravy, if you will. If you, um, if you will, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to, trying, to say, trying to get the words out right as I wait for my bus here. Uh, but she was basically going to spice up the gravy. You know, the sausage gravy is what it was. That's, that's what I was trying to think, what, what kind of gravy it was. She was going to spice it up, and eventually does. 
And again, you could probably say, all oh, right, that's where John and to an extension Doc Boy, his brother, get their, you know, the not so brightness, their dimwittiness, if you will. They get it from the mom because the mom, you know, refuses to acknowledge, yeah, maybe I don't make the best sausage gravy, you know, in the world. Maybe I'm not one of the best cooks. I mean, I'm fair, but I'm not one of the best. And maybe it's also the fact that the grandma sees what, ha sees what happens every year at this time when John comes back to visit, or even if John decides, hey, I'm going to stay home, and hey, if you want to, you can come and visit. She notices that, you know, John, that, well, not John, but the mom starts treat, and, you know, as, as I mentioned earlier, as the evening, you know, goes on, starts to treat um, John and Dark Boy as if they never grew up. And I think that's why John and Dark Boy do what they do. I think they do it for the mom. You know, they don't want her to, you know, kind of, you know, be broken hearted at the fact that, hey, my young boys don't want to act like kids anymore. They don't want to, you know, they, 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 don't, they don't want to act like, oh, Santa's coming and all that. And, you know, they don't want to act childish. They want to be more adult-like. So I think the reason in A Garfield Christmas, whether it's the book or, you know, that you read or it's the, or it's the cartoon... The reason they act this way mostly is for the benefit of the mom to make her happy. They do. They go out of the way to do what they got to do, even if she's asleep. You know, they they take it basically to the next level by keeping. I guess you could say in character or in tone with what's going on, even to basically the annoyance of the dad. And, and you can tell the dad is basically like, oh man, here we go again. You know, I don't. You know, every year it's the same thing. Here we go again. You know, kid John and Dark Boy, you know, uh, you know, kind of regress back to kids and everything. De age, you know, my wife just is, doesn't seem to, you know, understand or accept that. Hey, you know, they're grown up now and they shouldn't be acting this way and stuff like stuff like that. But you know, eventually he does. You know, he does go along with it too. You know, at first reluctantly. Like there are some parts he'd rather not go along with. But there are parts he does go along with, like in Christmas morning, when, you know, he basically gives John and Doc, you know, a, a bit of an option of, hey, you know, hey, what do you want to do? You know, like, hey, what do you want to do first? You want to do presents? Do you want to do um, chores, eat breakfast? And they say presents. You know, he does kind of play along with it. No, there's no doubt. There's no doubt about that. Hold on for a sec while I, uh, do, uh, while I uh, do something here. My battery's kind of getting low. I got to charge it a little bit. So hold on. No, hold on for a sec, guys. Like I said, um, you know, the, again, I think they, they do it for the, the benefit of the mom. And again, like I said, even the dad kind of gets into the act, too. You know, where, um, you know, you can tell he's, a, like, there are certain parts of it where he's kind of annoyed, you know, by, you know, you know, certain parts that they got to continuously do, like read the Beaky story and, and stuff like that. So, you, 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 you can kind of, um, like I say, you kind of see that he has a little bit of annoyance, but again, he goes along with it uh, to the point that, like I said, the following morning, he basically asked, the guy, asked, he asked John and Dark Boy, hey, what do you want to do first? Presents, eat breakfast, chores, and they say presents. Um, you know, it's, you know, it's to me, I think, it, it, well, not it's to me, what I'm trying to say, let me go right here, okay, um, to me, I think, obviously, that's the main reason why we kind of see John and, um, and Dark Boy act the way they do during Christmas, because when you, when you look at the other Christmas specials that come before and afterwards, that involve the family, uh, to an extent, you notice that John doesn't act the way you know he does here in the special. Neither does Dark Boy, you know, in some manner, or even with the stories that you read in the comics. You notice that they don't really act that way, you know, in any other you know, scenario. They don't. And I think the reason being is because again, it's all about keeping the mother happy. Because again, because again, I think what they what they are, are doing is they're trying to they're trying to keep her happy because 
she still views them as her little boys and she still wants to keep things as as simple as they used to be back in the day you know like I, like honestly we could, could probably we could probably assume that the mom knows that yeah things are changing you know times are changing and and all that and instead of changing with it or at least kind of modifying those things to go with it she's more along the lines of just keeping things as are because you know that it, it, because basically it's more of a peaceful positive setting for her mentally and to me to me I think that's why she acts the way she does because when you know uh, later on like you can kind of tell like, like again you know she's accepting of her son like John moving out and everything and all that but I think when it comes to things like Christmas and even Thanksgiving maybe and all that if the family gets together she likes to try to recreate the past and you know again you can kind of see that it gets annoying not only to the grandma but to an extent to the dad but the dad, unlike the grandma, does go along with it more so than anything. And I do apologize for that. That's a notification that just came in on my <laughs> on my phone. Um, but basically, you know, the ba- the dad, you know, is more willing to accept it. And you could, like I said, you could, like I mentioned earlier, you could see how far the boys take it to the point that even when the mom's asleep, you know, instead of bugging her, they will bug the dad because they know the mom going to. You know, keep things, you know, like they were. Sorry about that, the battery died and everything. But, like I said, I, I think mainly they do it to uh, support the mom and everything. Just to, you know, to kind of make her happy and everything. And, you know, even though she's willing to accept that, you know, John has uh, grown up and moved out and everything. And he's always happy to see him when he visits. I... I think in a way when, you know, when it comes to the holidays and gets to certain moments like at Christmas Eve, like the later hours before everybody goes to bed, you know, she's more, um, she's more like, you know, kind of regresses herself to, you know, she still views, you know, Dark Boy and John as kids that are just excited for Christmas and can't wait to get certain things like toys and whatever and all that. So, you know, anyway... That, that's how I view it. That, that's how I view the reason why John and Dark Boy in a Garfield Christmas de a little bit, much to the annoyance but, uh, to the grandma and to an extent the dad as well because of certain things that they you know, have to do, you know, as part of the tradition. But what do you guys think? Do you think that is why John and, you know, Dark Boy de age and act, kind of regress back to children, if you will, despite being adults in a Garfield Christmas? Let me know down below in the comments, as well as the live chat, don't forget to like the video. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas Eve, guys, and Merry Christmas, and I will talk to you all later. Take care, God bless, and, and, I should say, I try to log out, and,